Jesus says, You are my last resort. Go and baptize them in my love. July 16, 2015 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, Do what you can in regards to fasting. Don't come under condemnation for a piece of pie. I know your body's chemistry right now better than you do, and I'm not putting any restraints on you other than to love first. It means pay close attention to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and always do what He wants in His order. The devils will use every little thing to cause disillusionment, discouragement, especially in yourself, condemnation to cause you to be less effective. For instance, when you come under condemnation and you take the bait, the enemy will tell you, no use to pray now. You just blew it and God won't hear your prayer, like he would have had you persevered in prayer. Lies and half-truth. I appreciate your fast offerings, but I also know your limits better than you do. And when the enemy inspires you to go further into a fast offering than you can handle with my grace, he will wait for you to fall and then slap you down with condemnation, making you want to abandon your prayers, because, after all, you failed and they've become worthless. May I say your prayers are never worthless in these situations? Well, they are not. So don't allow the enemy to lie to you. I'm so much more concerned about your love for your brother than I am about any fast offering. Many have fooled themselves by taking on extraordinary fasts and yet treating their brother with contempt. Their fasts were worthless. That is nothing but a show of pride in what they can achieve and how spiritual they are, when in fact I never knew them. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and cast out devils in your name and done many mighty works in your name? And then I shall declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work lawlessness. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't take me in. I was naked, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Do not be full of judgment, because others cannot fast as you do. For I have come to find fruit on my tree, and found none. I looked for charity, humility, pure motive, and found pride, arrogance, and judgment. See to yourself that you pass by no opportunity to do a kindness to one who is in need. Comfort the destitute, the mourning, the rejected, and you will call to me, and I will swiftly manifest at your side. Try this, my brides, my children. See if you do not experience a deep shift in your hearts from a religious spirit to a Jesus spirit. Yes, I said it, a Jesus spirit. Meek, humble, serving, slow to anger, always serving, for those who had eyes to see, it was not the spectacular miracles alone that brought conviction. It was my love, that I would descend from heaven to wash feet and make the sick whole. That was spectacular in nature, God among us. Now I've imparted these gifts to you, 
but many do not understand their true nature. God among us, and they will know that we are Christians by our love. I'm telling you these things for your own good. Don't be so concerned about prophecy and what will occur next. Be more concerned about tending to me within you and doing as I would do in everyday situations. That is far more important to you and the kingdom right now than knowledge of the future or what is soon to pass. When you are taken from the earth, it is those things that you did in love that will determine your eternity. So you see, in this moment, I'm instructing you on the most important thing you can do in this life. Your love is going to bring conversions. Your love is going to open hearts. Your love is going to bring conviction. Your love is going to disarm. In short, your love is what is preparing the way for me in this moment. Sinners have heard enough fire and brimstone to last them a lifetime. What they have missed about me and why they have not come to me is my love for them. You are my last resort. You are ambassadors of love and mercy. Without you, I can do little. They must have evidence that I, living in my people, make them different. What good are the prophetic dreams I send the Muslim people if they never see love in action from those who profess to be Christians? But truly, it is the blood of martyrs unjustly slain whose last words were, Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. That brings searing conviction and proof of a Jesus spirit. You will see that there was only one group I was harsh with, and it wasn't the prostitutes and tax collectors. They needed to feel my love, not my wrath. So now I give you my mandate. Go out and make disciples of all men, Baptize them in my love, and they will run to be baptized into the kingdom.